All right, so <laughs> it looks like they did it again, and I can't say I'm completely surprised because I guess they've always done this, but I thought maybe they would have learned their lesson from previous celebrations and maybe just like left the data download for after the Dokkan now, after the live stream, so it's at least a surprise. But uh, I guess not. So we did get a data download for the LR Super Saiyan Goku and uh, Int. Uh, is it Int Full Power Frieza? I think it's Int Full Power Frieza and SDR Goku. I forgot. But either way, uh, we have their details now. We have the animations. We have the OSTs. We have everything that we need to know. Everything that they were supposed to save for the Dokkan now. But uh, it is what it is, I guess. Now, uh, in this video, what I'm going to do is go through the... Uh, assets, go through the details for each unit, but I'm not gonna watch the animations, okay? Because at the very least, I want to keep those a surprise. I want to have a genuine reaction to them during the Dokkan Now program. So if you guys want to see those, uh, they're all over YouTube right now, all over Twitter, so feel free to go check those out. But for the purpose of this video, I'm not gonna play them, okay? So uh, yeah, we got the arts for the Goku. This is the SSR. This is the TUR, and this is the LR, and they look fantastic, man. I love all three. Um, gotta be my favorite SSR art in the, in the entire game, I think, or at least close to it, because that looks very, very nice. And then the TUR, the LR, of course, is awesome. And then we have the Full Power Frieza. This is the SSR. There's the TUR, and we have the LR as well. Really, really clean. And uh, from there we have, I think this is an Awakening for an older Vegeta, or maybe a free-to-play Vegeta. I'm not really sure what this Vegeta is from. Like, is it a new free-to-play unit, or a TUR? I don't know, but we got a new Vegeta. We have this uh, third form Frieza, which is the side unit for Frieza's banner. And I believe that's the SSR and TUR. And then we also have... The new Piccolo, which is the side unit for the uh, Goku banner, and there's the SSR and TUR. And then we also have a Dokkan Awakening for the super old STR Super Saiyan Goku. And uh, we also have the new categories for Goku and Vegeta, uh, respectively. So Goku's banner is called Legendary, or sorry, not banner, his uh, category is called Legendary Existence. And then Vegeta's banner, or sorry, not Vegeta, uh, I'm all messed up right now, man. The Frieza category is Sworn Enemies. Okay, so Sworn Enemies for Frieza, and then Legendary Existence for Goku. So there you go. Now let's pop over to another page here. We have uh, Harry Turney. Big shout out to him. He provided us with the translations for all of the new units. So uh, yeah, thank you very much. Really appreciate it. And I'm going to actually pop over to the close-ups here. So... Starting with the Goku, let's just zoom in a little bit. Uh, I'm pretty sure you guys can see, but it might be a little bit small, but I'll read it out, of course. So, leader skill is Legendary Existence or Super Saiyans. Category key plus 3, HP attack plus 170%, defense plus 150%. So obviously, Super Saiyans was expected, and then Legendary Existence is the new category. Super attack 12 key, raises defense and causes mega colossal damage, and then the 18 key super raises attack, and causes mega colossal damage so they both cause mega colossal damage so they're both going to be hitting really really hard and um, a lot of times you actually probably want to get that 12k super for longer events just to build up his defense but if you are not too worried about his defense which you shouldn't be because he's going to be pretty tanky uh, from the start then uh, you can go for that 18k super but either way since they're both mega colossal they're both going to be hitting pretty damn hard and then the passive is Q plus 2, attack and defense plus 159%, launches an additional super attack within the same turn after receiving an attack, and then plus an additional attack plus 59% and medium chance of launching an additional super attack as the second or third attacker in a turn. Q plus 1 at start of each turn, up to Q plus 3, plus an additional attack plus 59% when there is an extreme class enemy, performs a critical hit. When there's an enemy whose name includes Frieza, Frieza, Frieza Soldier uh, excluded. Okay, so this is actually my first time seeing these details. And what I'm going to say right now is he is going to be hitting extremely, extremely hard. Especially against extreme class enemies. And he's also going to be 
getting double supers a lot of times as the first attacker. And um, he's pretty busted, man, because getting two supers would raise his defense twice if you, you know, double 12 key or raise attack and defense if you 18 key and then 12 key. Um, and he's getting a huge attack boost. Yeah, 159 plus 59 plus 59. With his LR stats, uh, yeah, he's busted. <laughs> that, I don't say overused word, but it's very accurate here. He is mad busted. Okay, uh, active skill. Let's talk about that. Angry Kamehameha greatly raises attack temporarily, causes ultimate damage, and it can be activated when facing only one enemy whose class is extreme class. Okay, so extreme enemies only, and HP is 30% or less once only. Wait, hold on. Your HP 30% less or the enemy's HP 30% or less? I don't love that. Um, if it's your HP, that's pretty bad. If it's the enemy's HP, it's not as bad, but still not great. Okay, so I was worried about this. The condition here is uh, kind of iffy. Uh, yeah, it's, it's one that you're probably not going to see too often, unfortunately, guys, which uh, is really upsetting because I'm sure the animation is great. Like I said, I'm not going to look at it until the Dokkan now, but I, I've heard people have been talking about the animations being amazing, and uh, it's a shame, man, because that's a rough condition. 30% HP or less. Okay, Link's Golden Warrior Kamehameha, uh, Super Saiyan Warrior Race, Prepare for Battle, Super Saiyan, Fierce Battle, Legendary Power. And categories are Planet Dynamic Saga, oh my god, Pure Saiyans, Full Power, Goku's Family, Super Saiyans, Kamehameha, Exploding Rage, Saviors, Turtle School, Miraculous Awakening, Powerful Comeback, and Legendary Existence. And yeah, look at that, 21,975 attack at rainbow status, 13,381 defense. So yeah, Goku looks amazing. Let's uh, move on to the Frieza here. Um, leader skills for enemies or Planet Dynamic Saga. B plus 3, HP attack plus 170%, defense plus 150%. Interesting. I thought he was going to be uh, Wicked Bloodline, but Planet Namek Saga also makes sense, I guess. Super attack raises attack and causes colossal damage, and then Ultra Super raises defense and causes mega colossal damage. Okay, so they're switched. Goku raises defense on the 12 key and attack on the 18 key, and uh, Vegeta, or sorry, Frieza, is attack on the 12 key and defense on the 18 key. And then passive is Q plus 2, attack and defense plus 100%, launches an additional super attack within the same turn after receiving attack, medium chance of launching an additional super attack as the second or third attacker in a turn, plus an additional attack and defense plus 100% for 6 turns from start of turn, uh, attack plus 50% starting from the 7th turn, Q plus 1 at the start of each turn up to 3, plus an additional attack plus 50% when there is a super class enemy, performs a critical hit when there is an enemy whose name includes Goku, Youth, Captain Ganyu Jr., etc. excluded. Okay, so, um... It looks like from the start, uh, Frieza is going to be more powerful, but he does lose the attack and defense plus 100% after 6 turns, and then he's only getting 50% additional from the 7th turn. Um, otherwise, the other stuff looks pretty similar to what Goku has. Let me just quickly check here. Um... Yeah, so, from what I can tell... Frieza's better initially, but then Goku's better long term. That's just my initial impression. I could be wrong, okay, but that's what it looks like right now. And then uh, active skill greatly raises attack temporarily and causes ultimate damage. Can be activated when facing only one enemy who's super class and HP is 30% or less. So I'm going to assume that it's the enemy, who's, the enemy whose HP is 30% or less, because if it's your HP 30% or less, that's going to suck. Yeah, I could be wrong, but that, that, that really sucks if it's your HP, so... Hopefully it's the enemies. I'm not really sure exactly which one it is, but uh, yeah, hopefully enemy. Links, prodigies, big bad bosses, universe is most, most malevolent, strongest client in space, fierce battle, uh, nightmare, legendary power. Categories are planet dynamic saga, full power, transformation boost, wicked bloodline, terrifying conquerors, final trump card, exploding rage, and human deeds, space traveling warriors, gifted warriors, planetary destruction, sworn enemies. And uh, the stats look like a little bit less attack than Goku, but quite a bit more defense than Goku. So there you have it. That is the Frieza. He also looks very good, for sure. Both these guys are, as expected, quite busted. 
And uh, we have the Piccolo now. So his leader skill is Planet Namek Saga, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 130%, super attack, supreme damage, lowers attack and defense, passive attack and defense plus 60%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 20%, at the start of each turn up to 60%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 20%, with each attack performed up to 60%, high chance of randomly changing key spheres of a certain type to rainbow key spheres, recovers 6% HP per rainbow key sphere obtained, that's crazy. And then Planet Namek Saga Category Allies, Q plus 3, Attack and Defense plus 40%. Wow, this Piccolo is, is very good. He's a very good support. And he's going to be getting a pretty crazy boost when maxed out. And uh, it doesn't seem like it's going to be that hard for him to actually get that full passive. And he's a crazy healer. Okay, um, Piccolo is... Wow. Yeah, he's really good. Okay. And then we have the third form, Frieza. Uh, leader skills for an enemy, keep plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 130%, 130%, uh, super attack, raises attack, and then raises defense for one turn, so this one stacks infinitely, this one's only for one turn, causes supreme damage, uh, passive attack and defense plus 70%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 7%, with each attack performed up to 70%, high chance of launching up to two additional attacks, each of which has a high chance of becoming a super attack, sword enemies category, uh, allies keep plus 3, attack and defense plus 40%, yo. Okay, so he is getting up to three supers, maybe four with uh, dupes, actually, or skill orbs. Um, up to four supers every turn. Jeez. Okay, so he's going to start off pretty weak, but he's, he's going to build up pretty quickly as well. Um, so both the Piccolo and Frieza look great, just in different ways. And then we have the Super Saiyan Goku, who Token Awakens from this one. This guy is so old, man, so it's good to see him finally get that. Token Awakening. Uh, leader skill, Turtle School, keep plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 120%, or all types, keep plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 70%. Super attack, raises attack and defense for 5 turns, causes supreme damage. And passive is attack and defense plus 50%, plus an additional attack plus 50% when HP is 50% or more, plus an additional defense plus 50% for 5 turns from start of turn, plus an additional attack and defense plus 50% when performing a super attack, plus an additional attack and defense plus 50% when key is 5 or more. <laughs> And plus an additional attack and defense plus 10% with each attack performed up to 50%. Whoa. Okay. Um, that is quite the passive. That is a lot of boosts. Uh, yeah, that, that's, that's quite a good Goku. So good TUR Super Saiyan Goku right there. But of course, it's kind of hard to... Be that impressed when I just went through this, 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 and this. These guys are all looking fantastic. So um, that's pretty much where I'm going to leave the video, guys. I'm not, like I said, going to watch the animations just because I want to keep it a surprise for myself personally and a surprise for some of you guys as well that are tuning into the stream. Uh, I will be going live very soon. I'm probably going to push the stream back just a little bit, but fairly soon. So if you guys are uh, going to be up at that time at around you know midnight or so, then definitely tune in and. There you go, man. Uh, we're going deep for these guys. By the way, they're releasing at the standard time of 2.30 a.m. Eastern. Okay, 2.30 a.m. Eastern should be 11.30 p.m. Pacific. Uh, other time zones, you know, Google it, but uh, there you have it. Of course they did it, but I guess, once again, I can't be surprised. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like the damn video, sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell. And that's it. That's all I gotta say. Thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.